right, welcome back. Today I'm talking about the top and best science curriculums, homeschool curriculums for elementary that I have found. So first up though, I want you to tune in this week. If you wanna know, in my shorts, I'm gonna do the simplest and easy way, the easiest way to teach subtraction to little kids. So look for that short this week. Also, what we are talking about today is, so I have two products of the day. And one of the products is the Moby Kids. So this is Moby Kids. You're gonna take a look at it. Everyone, you're each on your own team. It's two players, one's green, one's blue. And you just build equations as fast as you can down and to the right. And whoever gets done first with correct equations wins. So it's quite enjoyable. Next up we got, this is Thinking Skills. So this is by Kumon. So let me show you into it. It's very repetitive. So if you look, it does missing pieces, then jigsaw, matching figures. Okay, so it's very repetitive. It is for young kids. So this is easy, right? So, okay, well choose the legs. But then it took me a second to figure out when I got here, which one was correct. I couldn't figure out. It's because the shape is included. Now you're including the shape as well. All right, so it does this and let's flip to the next section because this goes on for a bit, told you that. And then this is the next section, which is the jigsaw puzzles. So it's quite an interesting twist on something that I, I just, you don't see covered that much is the spatial reasoning and, and things like that. But again, it's pretty repetitive. So this is the copy the shapes. This is above and below. Which animal is right above the flower? Put a check mark next to that animal. Okay, so which animal is right above the flower? Put a check mark next to that animal. So it is pretty, 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 pretty simple. All right, now let me show you something for a sneaker. This particular one, this is the, your neurodiverse tip of the day. This particular one is by mandb.ca. So essentially what it is, is so you, it comes with shoelaces and it's for neurodiverse. Anyone who can't tie their shoes, but has tie shoes. So you squeeze it to set it where you want. And then that's it. You can put it on. And then if you want it tighter, you can make it tighter, but you don't need to because I use it and you could, so it's for older kids or anyone who cannot, like I said, doesn't have the motor skills yet to tie their shoes. You just slide this little piece on and put it and adjust it to where you want. When you squeeze it, you can move it to wherever you want. So I just think that is very helpful so that you can wear cool shoes and not everyone has to wear, you know, the olden days, those Velcro shoes. Okay. So the top five science programs at the end, I'm gonna tell you the program I like least. I like least. Okay, so first up is a Becca for little kids. I got two programs that win for little kids. First up is a Becca. A Becca, of course, is Christian, is little, and it talks about this particular version that I like. It's, it's very simple. You can do it from pre-K all the way up to grade one. And it just talks about like your body, the weather, and how God has designed things in order to take care of you. So it's very simple and a very gentle introduction to God. And it doesn't mention the Bible too, too much. So it's not, this particular book is not Bible filled. It doesn't have a lot of experiments. The experiments it has are very simple to do because understand it was designed essentially for a classroom. So you're not gonna have a lot of experiments going on unless they're super simple. The Blossom and Root is the other one. It is secular, it is nature, and deals with the nature and biology and space combined. I'm showing you the biology and space one on this screen, or maybe I'm showing you the nature one, I don't know. But it's, I've also done it and it's, I like it as well. I, it's, the price point is a lot less than a Becca, and, but you don't need any additional outside materials. And there, again, there's not a lot of experiments, so that price and the time is not up there. And for the nature one, you're out in nature and you're looking at tracks and things like that. Now let's talk about Older children, I like Apologia. I like what they do. I like Apologia. They focus primarily on math and science. Like that's where they excel at. And I like their math program too. I really do. I'm always torn when I decide like what math to do. Cause I always like, I like Apologia as well, but it's immersive, their science. That's the whole thing they want it done is to immerse yourself in it. And it's good for older kids. I don't, you can do it family style. I just don't like it for family style. I think it has too much text. So I think for older kids, um, it's good. So let's talk about the nature. My favorite nature program though is the Daily Skill Builders. The runner up to that is Barefoot Books. 
um, barefoot books. And I do really like that one. I think it's a very good program. It's definitely a good program. Um, I'll attach both videos at the end. So you can check out both curriculums if you want. It's just the barefoot books one is it's more pricier. It's pricier because you have to buy it with a lot of the selection of the books. It won't let you go to the library and check those books out. Some of them it will, but it comes with the book. So it is a higher price curriculum and nature daily skill builders. It's, it's, a really good curriculum that covers the wetlands and the grasslands and the desert and things like that. It's, I mean, it's just a fantastic program and animal cycles and, and birth cycles, whatever you call them. I don't know what they're called, but it is, it's just a really good program and it's not high priced. It is not high priced at all. So I just think it's great. Okay. So let's talk about the down to even more. My biggest winner would be to teach the five areas of science, to teach chemistry, biology, physics, astronomy, and what's the other one? And chemistry. The winner would be for me is real science for kids, but I like the, you can do, they have two options. You can do the building blocks, which is year by year by year. I like it because the, the it's made by a homeschool mom and the assignments, not the assignments, but the experiments, they're not crazy. They're not overdrawn. Like it's not going to take a ton of stuff that you don't have. So I like that aspect of I like that there's no busy work and I like that it gets to the point and that it teaches really concrete information like in the grade one which is when you start it starts off by teaching you the history and what science was meant to do and how to do science and things like that so it gets really down to brass tacks if you will and if your kids are a bit older what you can do they have a k through four version of the focus on where there's five books and they each focus on one of the areas of science to really hit home what they're talking about. So you can do either or, you can do the building blocks if you wanna go all the way up through grade eight um, or higher and you can do the focus on. I'm gonna do the focus on, but I have both. But I just decided to do the focus on so that we got more free time so that we could do, for example, any of the runners up. The runners up, which would be um, Noeo science. So if we did the chemistry for that, cause we have that, um, or we have the physics one or, and rabbit's trail as well, like rabbit's trail for their one. Now they are Christian and it is mixed in. So if that bothers you, there's some science ones like the meteorology one from Campfire Curriculum. The meteorology one, meteorology one, from there, the Christianity is put in a box. So it's called Faith Talks. You can either use it or not. This is not the case with Rabbit's Trail. So it's throughout there. So you may not like that. It's literacy-based though. It's, it's a good program. Literacy-based and it goes in depth into, you can choose birds, you can choose reptiles, you can choose amphibians, things like that. And lastly, is if you want to go an out of the box kind of just crazy, not crazy, but just if your kid is a different type of learner, if they are a completely self-led learner, which I have one of those, fun schooling is the way to go. And fun schooling is like, hey, pick out five topics that are, you know, that have to do with science that you want to study this year. So what are five things that you want to learn about science this year? Okay, let's go get, go to the library and get five books, you know, get a book on each of those topics and things like that. So it's completely child led. So I'll show you that on the screen as well. And now we're down to my least likely one. My least favorite, my least favorite is Sunlight and Book Like Bookshark, their science. I have three years of their science. So I have thoroughly gone through it and reviewed it. And it is a ton of busy work, a ton of abstract parts that you would have to track down if you didn't order their $79 a year box of experiments. Just obscure parts, rel yeah, like a little, you know, round pipe and little tiny wooden wheels and things that are not always easy to come by and that you would just, it would just take a decent amount of work to collect those parts for the school year. Not to mention, for example, you're doing weeks of work on ants. You're doing, which is fine if your child loves it. If your child's like, I am all into ants. All right, get some books on ants, go, you know, there you go. There's, you know, then study that. But it just, it's so much busy work for little kids that I do not like it. I do not recommend it. And the price point is just too high. So there you go. I'm sorry if you love it. I, I think it's great if you love it. Cause again, this personal preference, personal opinion. Okay. So there you go. There you go. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Can you say please like, and subscribe. Be right to like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell for notifications. <laughs> <laughs>